We will revisit some of the finer points of the Brexit negotiations, but for the moment, let's find out how we got here with some music, ladies and gentlemen. It's Paul Thorne, everyone! <laughs> Let me decide, I don't trust politicians. I'm capable of cocking up my own decisions. I've listened to nothing that everyone said and now I'm convinced that I've been misled. Let me decide if we're in or we're out. I don't like Brussels because I don't like sprouts. Let me decide, it's very complex. Voting's a struggle when you can't spell X. The public has spoken. Public has spoken. They say we've taken our country back today But back to which decade they didn't quite say And if you live in London and you think it's not fair Remember it was you who voted Boris Johnson mayor Well that'll be a laugh won't it? Because the public has spoken But the question is whether the public can actually string a word together I don't have a say, the government's tricked me It's one man one vote isn't it? I've used mine up on Strictly <laughs> God bless America, a big country, but it suffers from a village mentality. You let the village decide, and by and large, the village gonna put the village idiot in charge. <laughs> God bless America, the only place where a donkey can win a two-horse race. It may have been a high-tech gremlin. The people have spoken from a basement in the Kremlin. <laughs> Yeehaw! Now, it may seem strange, but I've taken the decision to enter this song in our very last Eurovision. <laughs> you might think it's controversial and it doesn't stand a chance because it doesn't make gay people want to dance. <laughs> now the public is useless collectively, but I think they've got a keen sense of irony. So when I win the public vote and people shout no way, I can turn to the camera, smile and say, the public has spoken. The public has spoken. Stuff. 